So I wanted to show you guys something really cool. I usually lose a lot of subscribers when I do videos like this, but uh, I wanted to do this one because uh, Glock has re-released uh, this gun called uh, the Glock P80, and I have the original. So you can see right here, this is a pretty early import of this model firearm. Uh, it's 1986, best in market, pistol category, uh, lighting was a little bit better, you could see. It's a Glock 17, nine millimeter, made in Austria. Uh, pretty cool, comes with this little uh, Tupperware case with these uh, stackable holes so they could uh, stack them and lock them together. Uh, has some uh, statistic stuff here on the side. And uh, it's pretty cool, you open it up. And this uh, little super organized Tupperware in here. Um, have a magazine. This is my original sales receipt. It appears I paid uh, $269.97 for this gun back in the day. <laughs> Not an original magazine, actually. I do have the original magazines that came with it. This is uh, an updated one because uh, the original ones, they kind of would swell up a little bit and they kind of stuck in the uh, magwell. So this is a, an updated Glock magazine. But anyway, it's got a little spot for it there. Comes with a little cleaning brush, and I think it had a little brush on it at one point. It's probably in another one of my gun cleaning kits. A little spot here for uh, the ammo. Don't currently have any in there. And uh, then we have this Glock Model 17. This is a uh, Generation 1. So it's a Tenefer gun. Does not have a uh, Picatinny rail on it. Uh, has the uh, these smooth grips. A lot of people think these are really slippery. Um, I don't. I guess if you were in a sweaty environment and and uh, you had real sweaty hands or something, then you know it could it could be grippy. But I think these these uh, Glocks feel amazing in your hand. Um, back when we would race these things, we would actually take the uh, Gen 3 frames and I actually used uh, spray grit, just a uh, black spray grit, and it just adds some uh, sandpaper type texture to the grip. But yeah, super, super sweet gun. Press it open. And uh, just very, very, very basic, basic sights. The Glock hasn't changed any of that. This one actually is adjustable on the back. Um, but super sweet gun let's see if i can get it apart and i did do a trigger job on this gun so it's not uh it's not bone stock never fired before but uh i did a little little bit of gunsmithing on there i did a trigger job on it so it pulls a little bit differently but i'm pretty sure i did not send this in for any recall because uh i knew i wouldn't be able to find one again I bought this uh, from its original owner who owned a gun shop and I don't believe he ever fired it when I got it. It had all the original uh, grease and stuff in it and uh, I think he just bought it because it was one of those newfangled plastic guns. <laughs> so anyway, if you never put a Glock back together, looking through the camera here, so i slide it back on and there we go. I'm going to do a little uh, press check here. No magazine. And trigger. Yeah, it pulls quite a bit lighter than a than a stock lock trigger. But it's uh, got a little bit different feel, uh, at least than my race gun. I don't know, maybe I'm not used to stock Glocks. But um, the firing pin and all that stuff is, is a little bit heavier. And so it's got a, it's a real kind of springy feel to it. Anyway, cut this short. I just going to throw throw this out there for you guys so you can see the the original version of this uh, Glock 17 uh, Generation One, just like the new one that they just released called the P80. So Glock P80 um, has nothing to do with the Polymer 80, but uh, they might have done that as a as a marketing ploy. Who knows? But yeah, original one in the Tupperware container and. Uh, best in the market. Pretty sweet. Legacy was born. Thanks for watching, guys.